Hello everybody, once again this is G and today we're going to have a look at how to pump oxygen without using any electrical pumps into a living space for 25 dupes in this case. What we've got here is an electrolyzer based on a hydro design and you can check this out in the description below and also this part over here I'll post a link below about how to measure high pressure gases and check if it's if there's an overpressure. We've got a hydrogen generator here. This is just mocked up using the hydrogen from these electrolyzers. Oh yeah, check out this stuff over here. This is what happens when you don't have any washrooms and you just put all the mesh tiles here. That's always fun. Anyways, the focus of today is to have a look at this. And this is a mechanism to get oxygen from here. And you can see it's at extreme pressure at about 500 kilos into this normal living area where you have it at about three kilos per tile or less. Uh, I might have overpressurized it a little bit here, but overall it should be fine. And this contraption over here doesn't use any power. It's based on bypass pump, but in this case we have several of them. And this is to make sure that when we release oxygen into the environment here, we're not popping any air drums. Let me bring up an overlay so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. What we've got here is essentially high pressure area over here. And there is a kind of a buffer space here. And then this is connected to the rest of the base atmosphere, or at least the atmosphere of this chamber in particular. And the red area is under extreme pressure. The buffer kind of changes from very high pressure to something reasonable. And then that pressure then gets released into the low pressure side. This over here is just the oxygen return that goes back into the high pressure. So a whole bunch of oxygen rushes into here. This adjusts the pressure by releasing some of the oxygen back, most of it back into here. And then the remainder gets pumped into the atmosphere of the base. Okay, let me show you the automation so you see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. So we got a few AND gates over here. And we've got some knots. Basically, starting from the beginning, so from this guy, it gets activated if both this sensor, which checks if it's above 20 kilos in the high pressure chamber, and below 15 kilos in a buffer, it's going to bring more oxygen into the buffer. After that, this pump over here checks basically if this is over 20 kilos, it immediately activates and removes some of the excess oxygen. And then some of these sensors are being used with these end gates and this sensor as well here for the final release of oxygen to the atmosphere. We want to be absolutely certain that everything is hunky-dory over here before we release, before we, you know, pull the trigger here and release the oxygen into the base so we don't get any popped eardrums. Okay, so the long and short of it is like this. If this atmosphere sensor here is below 10 kilos and this atmosphere sensor here is above 20, then go ahead and bring in more oxygen into the buffer. And then, if the level of oxygen in the buffer reaches over 20 kilos, go ahead and remove some. Put it back where it came from. And then when everything here is equalized to a pressure between 10 and 20 kilos and the pressure outside, you know, in the living area is too low, then go ahead and release the oxygen into the base. And so we're using the same sensors here but with the knot gates to invert this. And there we go. With the final result, we got about just a little bit less than three kilos inside the base. Everything is tickety-boo. And then if you look at these other gases, we got somebody farting around here. That's okay. Everybody else is emitting CO2. And then this is just from the, from all the peeing that happens. You get polluted water with some polluted oxygen. No big deal. And all this basically gets removed by this CO2 filter here, which also grabs, actually grabs everything except oxygen. So oxygen goes back into the base and everything else just gets removed to wherever, it doesn't matter. And we just have two pumps here to be able to handle 
all the dupes because we also have to account for polluted oxygen and natural gas but yeah this is the main thing i wanted to show you this oxygen release or you can use it for any other gas for that matter but main purpose of it is for oxygen and it works in conjunction with this hydro electrolyzer system you just basically add this part over here to check if the pressure is too high and then stop the electrolyzers and the reason we want to do this is so it doesn't break this part over here basically i built this first up here and then i realized that if it goes over a thousand kilos this stops working and so i need to figure out a way to stop this whole thing from going over a thousand kilos oh yeah i almost forgot i want to show you the plumbing okay here we go basically we got the water inlet here and then it feeds all of these um, recirculators here, essentially. And they're all made the same way. They're just easy chained. So you have this one over here first, and this is just the top up. It recirculates. Then we got the excess going through the other side of this inlet of this valve. Comes to the next valve and just tops up this particular loop that's done as a figure eight. And then from here, the excess just goes over here and again tops up another figure eight loop. And over here, we just have this on its own figure eight. And then down here, it's the same thing here. And it's just a mock up water source. So, yeah, everybody's taking a leak here. That's always fun. Anyways, that's all I got for you right now. This has been Greasy Hammer. And if you like this video, then smash that like button. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to keep working on the next video. It's going to be a follow-up on the factory. And I really hope you found this interesting. Maybe inspiring. I don't know. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.